All right, this video will accompany um, my quick review on this beautiful little friction folder by Dr. Fabrice Julien Cognat of uh, France. He is a uh, doctor in bladesmithing, uh, specializing in uh, medieval European uh, blades, uh, swords and knives mostly. Um, and he does absolutely beautiful work. And one of the things I love best about his work is just how much it captures the essence and the feel of the medieval uh, blade. So with that in mind, let's take a look at this little knife. This is not a large knife. You know, when it is closed, it is uh, about six and a half inches long from tail to beak tip of the little little raven here, which is honestly is very attractive. The, um, the, the handle is one single piece of wood. It's oak that has been carved and filed and, you know, rasped by hand into the shape that it is in. And it, um, you can feel it. You can tell with by by feeling it, by holding it, by looking at it, that it is you know all hand carved and not not you know sanded or ground on a on a machine or cut out on a machine or you know anything like that. Maybe the slot for the blade was cut with a saw, though I don't I don't know. I don't think necessarily it was, but. Um, it, uh, it's got a beautiful organic handcrafted feel to it, okay? And it's got the nice little raven beak here. The blade, um, I don't know what steel it's made out of, but I, I tested it and it comes out to about uh, 57 to 58 uh, Rockwell. So it's, uh, uh, it's about a three, three and a quarter inch blade in length and about... Uh, about three quarters of an inch wide. So it's a real nice little, um, just a little everyday carry type of utility knife. Looks like it's got um, like a bit of a, uh, an auto hummon there. Um, I, don't, I don't think he clayed that. It doesn't look like it was a hummon that was done with clay. Um, he might have done an edge quench, you know, where he put this much under the, in, under the quench. I don't really know, but it's, a gorgeous little look. I like that. I like that swoop that goes through there, right? And, uh, you know, the, the, ooh, I'm not going to hammer around, but the bird head and stuff, you know, it's all, it's all forged scale black. And he's got little, little, uh, little chisel marks to, to simulate the, you know, to bring out the idea of the feathers and the, and the, and the separate the beak. And I mean, it's, really a beautiful little work of art now is it like the best you know uh knife ever um you know probably not because it's not highly specialized for any one thing it's just a uh it's just a, a a general use everyday you know carry it in your pocket type of knife it's not a fighting knife it's not a uh a specialty knife it's it's just it's that knife that you carry in your pocket and you're happy to have on you and it's and it's a pleasure to use and you know just use it for all those little knife uses now when it's open the head of the raven looks like it's nestled up against the wings like the birds do when they sleep or something which i don't know i think is kind of neat and it's it's actually it's pretty comfortable it's not a real big handle so you can grip it like this and yes you can feel the raven's head but it's not uncomfortable you know i could i could put it like this and you know, pair, so, you know, peel or pair. Uh, I could hold it like this and slice and have lots of control. I could, I could hold it down here if I wanted to get a, you know, a good whack at something. Um, and uh, as long as you're holding it, that knife is, is held in place by your hand, you know, because you're holding onto this part, right? Uh, the, the action is pretty smooth. It's not super, super tight, but it's also not loose, right? It's not going to just fall open, right? Um, let's see, I think I said the uh, the handle is just a piece of oak that's been carved and and, and shaped by hand. Uh, 
and then uh, treated with some oils and uh, blackened with a torch. And uh, I mean, there's some inconsistencies here, you know, like see if you look in the in the, the cut for the blade, it's a little wobbly in there, right, right around here. But the important part, the fit is really, really good. And what's more important to me is this knife um, has a very, very handcrafted organic uh, medieval feel to it. You know, I could I could see a uh, you know an ancient Norseman or uh, you know some uh, pagan Germanic person or something carrying because these you know uh, friction folding knives like this have been around since at least the Roman Empire. Uh, and, you know, there's different styles and different. Uh, you know, designs that were in fashion, you know, depending on where you were and when you were. Um, and as far as I know, there is no known example of a historic knife like this. But all the same, there were ravens and magpies and crows. Well, maybe not crows, but there's ravens and other corvids um, are all over the place. You know, uh, especially in Europe, they were, they were very popular. And, uh, you know, I mean, the, the Norse mythology, you had uh, Hugin and Munin, which were uh, Odin's ravens. So uh, certainly a people that were uh, followers of Odin or, the, you know, Nordic um, faiths could possibly have had a, a knife like this, you know. I, I mean, it's not beyond their technology. It's not beyond their interest. It's certainly one of those very possible things. And being handcrafted and handmade and very organic, it has the look and the feel that uh, I think that you would be likely to find in a knife carried by a medieval or uh, migration period or, you know, maybe even a, uh, an ancient era person. And it's that love of the form of the shape uh, that really, uh, that really draws it to my attention. It really makes me love this knife. I mean, it's a good knife. You know, the, the, the blade is, the blade is, uh, about, uh, 57, 58 Rockwell. It's nice and sharp. You know, I mean, everyone's seen, you know, the paper cutting test and I got some wind here, so it's hard, but yeah, <laughs> wind's blowing this paper around, but, um, There you go. You know, it's, the wind wasn't helping, but, um, I mean, I know a sharp knife when I feel one, you know, all right? Knife is plenty sharp, all right? <laughs> um, it's real attractive, it just feels good. Uh, I'm a little worried about the durability of the wooden handle, maybe for everyday carry, maybe it'll get battered and worn, but you know, that's what happens to knives. They, they get worn, you know, uh, and so I'm going to take care of it and hopefully, uh, it won't, uh, it won't wear out, you know, too fast. But, um, I also love how the clip of the point here is very close to the same angle as the tail here. That's just, uh, just. It's just one of those little details that just is super satisfying to me, you know. Um, Dr. Fab, I, that's why I like to call him Dr. Fab, uh, Fabrice Cognot, that's uh, C-O-G-N-O-T, I think. I think I'm very sorry if I misspelling your name. Um, I will link to him in, in, in all this. Uh, Go check his stuff out. He makes great swords. He makes knives. He makes all sorts of beautiful stuff, uh, mostly with uh, medieval flair to it, a medieval feel to it. And his his pieces, his work uh, is really almost unrivaled in the department of capturing that really nice medieval feel and yet still being um, a performance piece, a piece of really good performing, um, properly made, uh, blade, you know, it moves right. It feels right. Uh, you know, you can, I haven't held any of his swords, but I can tell by the specs on them that they're in the right ballpark. You know, they're, they're not like, you know, the, the, the bad clunkers or anything that you see, I, 
you know, it's, it's, it's obvious. I mean, they may not be, you know, like super fast, super crazy high performance, or they might be, I, I couldn't tell you, but they're definitely, they're definitely in the good, in the good uh, place. Yeah, I'm stumbling over my words, but they're definitely in a good place. Um, and for me, the reason this knife is going to be the knife in my pocket, um, not, is not only because, uh, I'm very flattered in how I got it, but, um, because I love this shape. It's a friggin' raven. Look at that. It, or, you know, in America, you could think of it as a crow. They're, they're very similar birds. One's a little bit bigger than the other. But, um, you know, uh, they're, they're a beautiful bird. They're a, they're a symbol uh, of mystery and knowledge and, and uh, a thing that I think many of us uh, feel very close in our hearts, myself included. So, uh, you know, it's a good knife with a beautiful image. And it's it's just the right size you know it, it i can cover almost the whole thing with my hand you know and uh it's I, i've been looking at these for a long time honestly i've uh you know for he's made these for a couple of years at least i don't really know exactly how long but uh every time he's posted them up i looked at him and going oh i really like those now I finally have one and I am just so super happy about it. I, I really, I really like this. This is a really nice little knife. So go ahead, uh, check out, um, Fabrice Cognat Bladesmith. And, uh, if you like his stuff, buy something, man. The guy's, uh, <laughs> the guy's a doctor of medieval swordsmithing, you know? I mean, <laughs> his stuff's good. Trust me, but don't trust me. Go look at it. And, um, Anyway, uh, Fab, I love the knife. Thanks so much, man. This is this is beautiful, and uh, here we go. I don't know what to say. It's just a just a really nice little knife. You know, the action is good and clean. It feels good. It's sharp. It's got good geometry. You know, uh, you know. So there it is. I love this knife.